That's awesome. What? In this video, I want to show you how to remove the yellow casts that are on teeth sometimes. I'll hold down the command and space bar to zoom in so we can really see it. Just the space bar to activate the hand tool so I can slide it into place. So obviously we can see this because it's so up close and in our face, but most of us have slight yellowing to a lot of yellowing depending on how much coffee we drink, etc. So I'll add the hue and saturation adjustment layer. And there are many ways to do this. This is gonna be one way. Now, if I desaturate everything, everything goes to black and white, right? It's not what we want. We wanna focus on the yellow. So let's go to the yellow. Now, if I raise the saturation to kind of prove to myself, yep, there is a lot of yellow there. Obviously there's a lot of yellow in the skin, so I'll have to be mindful of that. And I'll probably have to do some masking. So now that I've found the yellow, I want to desaturate them, but I don't want to make them totally black and white because then they start looking weird. Usually I try to go somewhere between 25 and 30%, usually minimizes it. And then I'll drag up the lightness slider. Now don't drag it all the way to the right. Instead, just kind of pull it up until it feels good to you. Figure out the balance. Command or control zero to fill the frame. And let me toggle that on and off. So we definitely altered her skin tone. Actually, I don't mind it in the hair. I think I actually like it in the hair, but I don't want to lose it in their skin tone. Probably the quickest way to fix this is my adjustment layer is already selected. So I hit Command or Control I to convert that to black so it hides everything. Remember, black conceals, white reveals. For That's a good mnemonic to remembering how the layer masks function. I'll hit B for the brush tool. I'll look at my foreground background swatches. Since white's in the foreground, that's perfect because I need to paint with white on a black mask. And then I'll just brighten up these teeth by painting on them, which is painting directly on the mask. I'll show you that mask in just a second. Right there. And remember, I liked how it got rid of this uh, warm tint, yellow tint in the hair. I really like that cleaner... Uh, bright white look. Let's see if there, I didn't see if there was any over here. Yeah, I like making the hair a little bit wider. That looks pretty nice. So if I shift click on my layer mask, I turn it off. See how there's an X? Shift click back on it and it turns it back on, which is basically the same thing as turning the eyeball on and off. But if I hit the alt or option key while I click on it, it's going to show me my mask. Ah, I can see there's a little spot I missed in my painting. Left bracket key, smaller brush. Make sure I'm painting with white in the foreground. And I can fix that little part right here and then click back on the eyeball. And there we go. Now, if it's too strong, if you made too much of an adjustment, you can always lower the opacity to kind of come back somewhere between the really yellow teeth and our fix. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Yes! Go watch another video of mine. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I did. Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. <laughs>